All right, so what we're looking at is a sea cucumber. This is in class um, Holothuroidea. Holo means like a zoophyte, so uh, a zo plant or an animal plant. What we're looking at is the outside, and this area is going to be the oral region, and this is the aboral region, so lacking a mouth and with the mouth. We can see a few things on here. We can see where the tube feet are gonna exit out, making this the ambulacra. And then the area between the ambulacra, this region where there's no tube feet is the interambulacra because inter means between. So these structures right here are actually tentacles. They're feeding tentacles. Oops, it's slipping. Uh, feeding tentacles. And if I move them back, you can see the structure in the center. And this is going to be the mouth where the food is going to enter in. Remember, these are filter feeders. All right, so let's put this one away. And we're gonna take a look at this organism now that's already cut open for us, give us an idea of what's inside. So this big mass of orange that I pulled out or I just stuck back in, this chow mein structure, these are the gonads. So we'll pull them back out again. Gonads are used for reproduction or the production of gametes. The gonads themselves are going to be connected via a gonal, uh, a, um, a duct, a gonadal duct, and it will lead up to the gonopore, which is the point in which the gametes will exit from during spawning. When they're doing evisceration, it's going to come out another region, so I'm going to show you that in just a moment. The next thing we're going to look at here are what the tentacles are uh, attached to and how they move in and out. So this structure right here, we can see a few of them that are cut. These are retractor muscles and they will actually get longer and shorter and they will pull the tentacles in so they're hidden or out when they're feeding. So they'll relax when they're feeding uh, so they'll get longer. The retractor muscle is actually a, uh, attached to the base here. So the retractor muscle was once attached here, it was been cut, and this is a longitudinal muscle, and you can see that um, kind of uh, the body wall also in this area. Next to the body, uh, or next to the longitudinal muscle, you can see these little dots. Let's see if we can get a better view of them. We can see these little dots right here, and these little dots are the ampullae, which are attached to the tube feet. So that makes this area the ambulacra, and this area the interambulacra. All right, uh, if we continue on, we've got the mouth right here, the tentacles. This is the pharyngeal bulb, and also known as the pharynx, that leads to the esophagus, which is the next part and then to the stomach, which is this region right here. And from the stomach, it's going to be attached to the intestines, and some of these have kind of been broken off. Um, but if we look here, we can see some of those intestines connected by some mesentery. The other thing we have is some respiratory tree, and the respiratory tree is gonna be cl um, more closely related to, or closely associated with the anus. And you'll see that by pulling some of them off, and then if we were to put them in a water-type solution, you'd be able to notice that they branch, hence the term tree. Okay, Put those over here. You can see the difference between the gonads and the respiratory tree here, and then the intestines all have a slightly different look. Uh, this region, being uh, the anus down here, is going to essentially empty from the anus, right, the intestines out the anus, and then this is where your cloaca region will be. Uh, the other structure that you can see here is this long, darker colored structure, and this is the polyan vesicle. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this organism over here, kind of get you a different look at all this stuff again. This is uh, all respiratory tree right here. All right, this is again gonads. You have the intestines that is coming off the stomach region right here. We have the, uh, in this one you can see actually part of the ring canal. So the ring canal is gonna be located here and it's gonna lead to the radial canal and the radial canal is gonna be associated with the longitudinal muscle because that's what's gonna feed the ampullae so that the two feet can aid in locomotion. So mouth, pharyngeal bulb or pharynx, esophagus, stomach, down to the intestines. And then you can see the gonads here again, the retractor muscle, longitudinal muscle. In this one, you can actually see the hole where the radial canal is uh, flowing from. 
All right, during evisceration, where they're going to spit out part of their body, they're going to get rid of things like the gonads and the respiratory tree, and they're going to um, release that out the anus area, and that allows for them to escape a predator who might be trying to consume them. All right, that's what you need to know for the sea cucumber. Thanks.